and I am pushing really hard. Hey guys, Brad here, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at Milwaukee's new jigsaw. This is the 2445-20. The older one was dash 21, and it basically looks the same. This thing is a nice little jigsaw. It looks like the smallest jigsaw out there, but once you get the battery on, and you compare it to maybe a DeWalt, it's actually not that much smaller, even though just by itself, it does look quite tiny. Make sure you guys subscribe and hit that notify bell because we've got all kinds of videos coming your way as always. And uh, yeah, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below about anything. It doesn't have to be just about this one tool and I'll do my best to answer your questions and comments. So we're going to do some cutting today. We've got some different wood here, some different material. We've got some laminate. We've got Baltic birch. This right here is yellow batu, which is out of Indonesia. It's extremely hard wood. It's much harder than oak. And we use a lot of this for decking. And then we've got some cedar. So we'll kind of go in maybe the softest to hardest order. That might be it, maybe. We'll give it a shot. So the saw itself, as you can see, it just fits in the palm of my hand. And then once you get the battery on here, the M12 battery that is, then it makes it a little bit longer. So I'll throw one on here so you can kind of see what it looks like in my hand. That's the M12. I'm just using a 1.5 amp hour battery. I'm actually gonna be getting a couple four amp hour batteries just to make these tools last a little longer. But uh, yeah, you, as you saw there, it's got a LED light. Okay, so it lights up your cutting area. And then your battery gauge is on the side right here. So we've got a full charge. And to bevel this at the back, we've got a lever. So we just pull that to the side. And then you pull this forward and then you can click it to the right or click it to the left and it goes a full 45 degrees. There's no positive indentations here, so it's just line it up where you need to go and then lock it in place and cut. There's a little plastic screen right here that does slide out. I've noticed when I was cutting with a larger blade here, this is um, a Bosch precision wood blade. It's a little thicker and it was just touching this and it popped it right out. So you don't have to cut with this, but it does have a little tiny marker on the front on the point. So you can kind of line up with your, with your wood. And I'm going to kind of tell you something that I, I don't like about this as well, once we get into this, but um, you know, it's a nice cute little saw. The bottom panel here does come off if you wanted to take this off for any particular reason. So you can see right in here, okay? You can adjust the plate if you have to. And then this just snaps right back on. It also looks like you could rig up some sort of vacuum on the back. I am not aware of any connection that they make, but maybe they do make one. But you could suck the dust right through this port because you can see it's kind of hollow all the way through here. So that's something to look into. If I find anything, I'll do another video on it. But as of right now, I, I am not aware of any kind of vacuum connection on the back of this. Okay. So let's give some little specs on this thing here. Um, it uh, has a SPM of 0 to 2800. And that's strokes per minute. Okay. And the stroke length is three quarters of an inch or 19 millimeters. And uh, it weighs about 3.8 pounds. The overall length is eight and three quarters. And like I said, you can go to a 45 degree capacity. This does have the red link technology in it. So that overload protection that's in this tool, which is pretty awesome. And um, yeah, it's got the quick lock blade clamps. So I'll show you how that works on here. That's it's a toolless feature, which is always nice to have with a jigsaw. So for the blade that we're going to use today, um, well, we'll start off with something for the cedar. Let's just do a fast clean cut, all right? Kind of an aggressive blade. 
these are all really sharp. They look worn, but they are extremely sharp blades. So to put the blade in, I'll pull this off so maybe you can see in there a little better. You have to pull this lever and then it will kind of turn this, right? And it'll fit these T-shank bits. You just drop it in straight and that locks it in. Oh, I didn't drop it in far enough. There we go. So that locks it in nice and straight. All right. So then I'm just going to put this back on. You don't have to take this off when you're changing the blade. I just did it so you could see it a little better. All right. So let's cut some cedar. No problem. And that little plastic thing just fell off again. So I don't know if you guys, and I can't see it. It's, it's gone. All right. So we're going to cut without it. <laughs> um, so, you know, not a bad cut. And there's so many different blades out there, you guys. So you can kind of pick whatever blade you need for your material. This is just demonstrating this little tool. It's, it's fairly quiet compared to some jigsaws. Um, let's cut this birch. The Baltic birch. Bound up. So one thing I've noticed, whew, a little dusty with this jigsaw, and I'm going to be brutally honest, is I feel like it's it's a great saw, but it's a, it feels a little underpowered to me. Um, I'm used to using the DeWalt, and yeah, you guys all know I love DeWalt, but for me, this does feel a little bit underpowered. That's why you saw me catch there and I just I was really kind of bouncing up and down. Now, this saw, this blade too, isn't meant for doing super tight radiuses, so maybe I turned a little bit too tight, but I don't know, it may, I'm just on the fence with it still. So I, I do think it's a great beginner's jigsaw if you're into doing crafting and stuff like that, um, maybe for cutting pipes, I'm just not 100% sure on, you know, is it my go-to jigsaw? I know for some guys it is, but for myself, I'm just not quite at that point yet. And, and I'm going to use this a bunch more. And if I start to change my mind, then I definitely will do a follow-up video on sort of how I'm feeling about this saw. But um, right now, I'm kind of on the fence with it a little bit. So let's pick a different blade here. Let's do the laminate. I have a laminate blade here. Uh, this is a down cut laminate blade by DeWalt. This is my only DeWalt blade here. Okay. So let's see how this does. So the blade itself is great. There's no, no breaking of the material or anything like that, but I'm pushing pretty hard. Now I wasn't going to do a comparison, but I know you guys are going to call me a DeWalt fanboy or whatever. So let, let's just do a quick comparison. Okay. I'm just going to throw a two amp hour battery on here. I'm just curious. I know this blade's going to be crazy hot. I got to do this quick. Okay, let's just see. See, that's that's what I'm used to. You can tell the difference. It's, it's not just in my head. There's a huge difference between these two saws. This, I think, is... It's nice because it's small, but then really, you know, I was looking at it earlier. Take this, well, I'll leave the battery on. But hold that there and put this in front. Battery length, you know, they're really, it's not that much smaller. Maybe you need this to get into like a tight cabinet. And sometimes I've had that issue where 
you're working under a sink or something and you need to do some modifications for a plumber, something like this would be really, really handy because you could get in there nice and tight. You could do, you could do a tight radius. Um, but I think personally, if you are into finishing carpentry and you're, you're doing a lot of cutting with your jigsaw, I, I don't think I would recommend this for that. Um, Milwaukee does make other jigsaws, which I'm sure compared to this DeWalt, they might even destroy it. I don't know. I haven't tried them yet and I will, but this one I think is more specialized. You use it when you're trying to get into really tight, small spaces. Okay. And we'll try the Batu, but I'll tell you right now, it's not pretty. It, uh, that wood is so hard and I'm going to use this clean cut cut blade here. All right. So let's give it a go. And I am pushing really hard. Okay. That wood is just this, this wood is crazy hard. It, it dulls my blades, all my blades on any tool. So, you know, that just kind of gives you an idea of how, if you're thinking about using this for decking or whatever, and you're into these exotic woods, you know, maybe go to a larger jigsaw. But otherwise I do, I do like this tool. I think it has its niche. Um, it's got great rubber over mold on it. It's nice and small. So keeping it in like a tool kit, that's full of tools and maybe the jig, this jigsaw is just a little bit too big or one like it is a little bit too big. So this is handy to have. I don't use jigsaws very often, so I might carry this around instead of my DeWalt. Um, you know, it just depends on the project that I'm doing really. And, and that's what it comes down to for a lot of my tool decisions is, you know, what project am I doing this day? And then I'll just pick my tools. So, Hope you guys liked the review. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I love the M12 lineup. I think they are great tools. And if you're just getting into carpentry, um, this, this could be a really good little tool for you. But I honestly feel like this is more specialized for those really hard to get to tight little jobs that are once in a while. And, uh, and I think that's more what this is for. All right, guys. Please leave some comments down below, subscribe, hit that notify bell. Till next time, keep on crushing it. We'll catch you later.